Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Decoding with Cody. And in this video, I'm going to go over what I just saw on Twitter, X, uh, posted by somebody. And I had to share this, okay? So whoever's seeing this, please share this video. This is going to expose the clear predictive programming for Hurricane Milton that's about ready to slam into Tampa Bay, Florida. And the reason this is important, guys, is because the we know that before the COVID pandemic, there was a simulation called Event 201 that essentially predicted the event. And they do these simulations, and they tell you the future. And what you're seeing right here on the screen is a screenshot from the website, uh, the TBRPC. Okay, it's a Tampa Bay... Uh, simulation management agency and this is a simulation they did I believe it was in 2020 and at least that's when the YouTube video was posted of this simulation and it projects a category 5 hurricane which which Milton currently is to hit Tampa Bay and cause devastation so let me read this real fast and I'm going to play you the clip so let's get into it they call this Project Phoenix 2.0. And in the basic simple gematria, guys, which is just taking the letters of the alphabet and giving them a numeric value. In this case, H is the eighth letter, U is the uh, 21st letter, R is the 18th letter, R is the 18th letter. You add them all up, you get 180. And 180 is the gematria of Hurricane Milton. And you're telling me, that the simulation not only predicts in a very exact same scenario as what Milton is going to do, but not only that, guys, it has an exact gematria match to Project Phoenix Project 2.0. Sorry, I wrote that wrong, but it's supposed to be Project Phoenix 2.0. If you type that in the gematria calculator, you get a two-cipher match in the four base ciphers of gematria. You get two ciphers where Hurricane Milton is a direct match to Project Phoenix 2.0, and that is the name of this simulation. It simulates Hurricane Phoenix. So let me just read. What if a Category 5 hurricane struck Tampa Bay region? How would the events unfold and what would the region look like in the aftermath of the storm? Project Phoenix 2.0, the recovery is a facilitating is a facilitated training exercise that examines critical issues and capabilities of Tampa Bay area, small businesses as emerging management agencies during the dis disaster recovery. Okay, do you guys understand this? Like, this is a simulation of the aftermath or the simulation of a hurricane hitting Tampa, which is exactly what Milton is ready to do. And you're telling me that the name of the project, Project Phoenix 2.0 in Gematria, is a direct two-cipher match to the hurricane that's about ready to fulfill the, the simulation in, in real life. Okay, now there are a few differences in the past of the, of the simulated hurricane and Hurricane Milton, but for the most part, it's very, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same scenario. So what I'm about ready to play to you now is a clip of the simulation, and you guys can see for yourself. So here's the clip. Hurricane Phoenix, just south of Jamaica now. Phoenix is currently expected to make landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 2 storm. But of course, always, we are keeping a close eye on this system. There has been a noticeable shift in the forecast track from the NHC overnight, which now brings Phoenix into our viewing area, possibly as a strong hurricane. Now is the time to begin those preparations, folks. We have breaking news this morning. If you're just joining us, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded our entire viewing area to a hurricane warning as Hurricane Phoenix is projected to make landfall as a major hurricane sometime tomorrow. Mandatory evacuations are in effect for all coastal regions. Forecasters say this storm could be one of the strongest ever to hit the Tampa Bay region. We cannot stress enough how crucial it is that you finish your storm preparations tonight. Conditions will deteriorate rapidly tomorrow morning and evacuation routes will quickly become impassable. Please don't take this lightly and heed all evacuation orders. Folks, this is unfortunately the worst case scenario unfolding for the Tampa Bay area. 
Phoenix is now a Category 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds at 160 miles an hour. The wind gusts up to 200 miles per hour. This is catastrophic. It is a historic storm and unfortunately making a beeline right now for our area. We have a live look right now at North Tampa and Polk Street. I believe this is near Hawa Coffee. And as you can see, the storm surge has completely inundated downtown. Law enforcement now is reporting that all bridges have been cut off by storm surge. We're looking at up to 20 feet of storm surge in some spots. We're trapped on the third floor of the Tampa General Hospital parking garage, and the storm surge is up to the second floor of the hospital. St. Petersburg is essentially an island right now. A viewer from Brooksville is reporting roofs being torn off of businesses there. So this is a very important reminder that this is not just a coastal storm. We are seeing significant wind damage well inland. Unbelievable dust coming through. Oh, my goodness. So there you have it, guys. There is the clip of the simulation again. They called it Hurricane Phoenix hitting Tampa. Now, what's even more amazing that needs to be added to this is that not only is it the exact same path, the exact same city, it has the exact gematry as the name of the simulation, Hurricane Milton. Not only all that, the date they give for the first day on that simulation video is October 10th. And just by happenstance, Hurricane Milton will be hitting October 9th into the early morning, October 10th. So that is absolutely unbelievable, okay? Like how can you, I don't know how anyone can question that. Not only does the Gematria line up with the, the project and the Hurricane Milton, not only does the, the location and the path line up, also the date, right? So it's impossible to ever think that this is a coincidence, right? And the fact that it's hitting Tampa is not a coincidence either because Tampa has the Skull and Bones football team. See, the, the skull with the cross swords is the skull and crossbones of Skull and Bones Yale University. Remember, Yale University, where the Brotherhood of Death Skull and Bones is located. And that's going to be their birthday. The, when, when Hurricane Milton hits, it's going to be their 323rd birthday. They're known as the Brotherhood of Death. OK. And from the video of of this thing being released, this simulation video being released July 23rd, 2020 to the hurricane hitting Tampa with the Skull and Bones logo team. From that video right here to that to Milton hitting is going to be exactly 220 weeks in Gematria. The Brotherhood of Death equals 220. OK, just like this group based out of Yale. And again, this is the Jamaat, this is the football team for Tampa Bay and Yale University is where football is founded, right? So it all matches up guys. Absolutely unbelievable. Please share this video and it's just it's just it's just amazing, you know, how how they how they can clearly predict these things. And we've seen this multiple times before and it's just another instance where it just perfectly aligns. So have a good day, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll be back later with more clear connections with this hurricane. But for now, thanks for watching. Please hit the like buttons. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.